Thank you for joining us here on Digital Creators. And today we're going to go over how to create that perfect black and white image. And we'll be using Pixelmator to do that. So that's the image we're going for. I'm going to kind of show you how I created that. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that, start over again. And if you have Pixelmator and you want to follow along, Feel free if you need to pause it. If I go too fast, I apologize. You can always pause the video and, and catch up. But it's a really simple technique. First thing I'm going to do is open up the image in Pixelmator. Now you can open up Pixelmator and open a file and, and do it that way. Either way, one of the things I found, and this is just a useful tip here, that sometimes, you know, I have these working windows are here on the side that cover up the main the main window and they're always in front so sometimes if you resize and you get this where you have to hit OK over here after you resize it it's kind of hidden behind these if you if you want to shrink that canvas size down a good technique is to just the new if you have the new pixel mater you can pinch and zoom which is a awesome new feature but you can shrink it down just a little bit and you double tap this bar up here this one right here double tap it and it automatically shrinks that canvas down to the image size which is kind of cool for resizing so the first thing we're going to do is or at least I like to do is control C control V copy and paste that and that way if I make a mistake I got that original as a backup so I'll hide that because I'm not going to use it and that's there for emergency purposes only. Don't break the glass unless it's an emergency. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on our layer that we're going to be working on here. And the first thing you want to do is go ahead and add in the layers menu. You see this plus button down here. You're going to add a new layer and you take the paint bucket make sure it's on black so I'll click here make sure it's on black I already know it is and I'm gonna fill that layer with black once you have that said go ahead and change the blending option to color set it to color BAM black and white now using this technique vice just hitting black and white you have a few more options as far as controlling that contrast and the black and white tones of the picture to get that image that you specifically are looking for. Um, and it's a taste thing. It's an art. You know, photographs, image, digital creations is an art form. And what some people like, some people may not like. But this will give you some more lead way on to control that feature. So enough said. I changed it to color. Go down here to the original uh, background layer and this is where you can get a little bit more detailed in those black and whites that you're looking for. Grab the curves in the effects browser. Um, if it's not shown there you can go up here to view and where's effects? Effects, effect right there. I'm not going to hide it. If it wasn't there it would it would say show or hide or whatever so now it's gonna say show effects just in case then if you don't see this curves menu if you're not on all effects you can click on that top heading bar and go down here to um, color adjustment just like that and you'll see the curves on there so grab the curve slide it over drop it on that main layer not the black and white uh, layer that you created so these are your RGBs uh, you can adjust them all at once equally to get a, a nice color tone that you're looking for uh, at least shades of the, the black and white or you can go here and individually and that's what we'll do we'll adjust the red so I'm going to adjust this and I don't what I'm looking for is I'm looking at the dark areas because I don't want to lose too much detail in the dark areas so I'm kind of looking uh, right here by her uh, sweater uh, and this is my wife here over here on the right hand side I'm looking at the the dark portions of the of the image because I don't want to lose too much detail in the dark images and I'm gonna look at her hair 
and maybe her her uh, her cap right there not to lose too much of the detail so right about there is good for me I'll go to green and then you can adjust each of these individually so I usually just go extreme left and right just so I kind of know what I'm working with here see that looks that looks pretty good right there I like that and sometimes it doesn't take a lot of adjustment here so we'll put blue on the high side just a little bit and you may prefer you need the curves going another way um, that's one way to do it and BAM you can get your perfect black and white photo adjust the curves the way you want it and get it the way you turned out just like that I'm actually going to show you a second way to do this too uh, another option if you decide not to go with that option here so let me delete maybe <laughs> I'm just hitting return delete those two add this another option is duplicate this control C control V hide that layer and what's that other option is to desaturate you can go with either one um, black and white gives you a scale so it gives you a little little better uh, manipulation of the of the contrast by using the desaturation but you can try man that looks sharp so you can kind of adjust it from there and then duplicate that duplicate <laughs> that layer copy paste so I got two black and white the top one I'm gonna click to multiply bam now it comes in dark but this is where you get your adjustments at right here on the multiply layer you can change opacity to the way you like it so that's none and if I want to add a little darker shade to it I can adjust it from there and bam again the perfect black and white for you so I hope this tutorial helped on the Pixelmator how to create a black the perfect black and white image have fun with it adjust it and if you create something, share it. Let me know. Uh, I'd love to see what you got. And thanks for watching. And as always, have a good one. Robert out.